Hello, welcome. My name is Chuck Land. I'm a Cincinnati musician. And today we are going to discuss funk techniques. I grew up a drummer most of my life um, and didn't even start playing a Hammond organ until I was about 26. I'm 36 now, so just 10 years now. So I'm still kind of a, a rookie in some ways. Uh, but I love the sound of a Hammond organ. There's no sound like it. And basically, as a drummer, I learned a lot of different rhythms that you can apply to the Hammond organ or any instrument. Matter of fact, I recommend if you're gonna be playing guitar or Hammond, any kind of instrument, you should definitely learn some basic rhythms like on a djembe drum or even if you're just tapping on your, your chest, learn certain rudiments because you can apply those rudiments to the Hammond organ or any other instrument. Um, for example, a lot of funk playing, you know, it's, it's Basically, it's almost like 16th notes, you know, 16th notes are put the put the put the put one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. But I'm just kind of breaking it up a little bit. We call this really ghost notes in drumming or or um, on various instruments. And basically, I'm just doing a G minor seven chord here, but instead of actually using the root, the G, I'm doing a set starting with the seven. So, of course, the F note and then the B flat, the D. So I'll do that on my left hand and my right hand and I'll just alternate between both of them. So, uh, so that's basically the beginning part of it. But I'll go ahead and add in the C, the four chord. So if we're playing in a band, it, it sounds really good if you're playing something fast. You can add in that D if you want, D to C, but slowing it down. And do not, uh, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing when it comes to my fingerings. I'll admit it, my technique is not the best with fingerings because I'm self-taught. And But for instructional purposes, sometimes I'll use a different finger just so you can see the keys better. Um, normally I would use these three fingers right here. But um, But start it out slow until you get used to it. Uh, and then work on speed. The main thing is to get it tight at a slower speed. So however long that takes you, basically be, you know, uh, I, I would suggest having a metronome with you and just have a metronome going and, or, or be tapping your foot. So that's one cool riff you could do with funk playing. 